I'm so happy to be home right now. I I can't really even explain it. Toby and I really cleaned before we left, so to come home to a clean apartment, but more importantly, to come home just being surrounded by all of these things that we love and lifestyle that we love is so priceless. I'm a little overwhelmed right now, not gonna lie, because I just got home and got so excited to do everything that I love to do. I was like, where do I even start? <laughs> like, do I paint first? Do I journal? Do I read? Do I watch all my YouTube channels that I love to watch? Or do I just like eat? <laughs> and sleep and catch up on, yeah, resting. Oh, you wanna go to that poke place? Which one? It's called Five Star Poke. Dude, that's not what it's On Saturday morning, my friend Maggie picked me up. She took me to Starbucks as we waited for the sun to rise. I really enjoy serving with Maggie. Although I'm not very much a Dawn Patrol kind of person, it is the only chance that she really gets to enjoy surfing without worrying about her kids because they're still asleep and her husband is still home from work. Toby is a little under the weather and it is pouring rain outside like thunder, lightning, lots of rain. So it's going to be a cozy day and right now I'm making us some breakfast, just a quick like little oatmeal, um, but I'm really excited because I'm going to make chicken soup, I'm trying to make it like my mom makes it. We'll see how it goes. After a long day of working at the surf shop, Monday rolled around and it ended up being one of my favorite kind of days. My friend Mary, her baby, and I went to Foodland, we got a bunch of snacks, and we decided that we were going to spend the entire day outside, just enjoying the breeze, enjoying the ocean views, 
and enjoying each other's company. And of course, just staring at all the cute things that little babies do when they're just being little babies. It's been so beautiful to see Jonah grow over the past couple months since Mary gave birth and to see her grow into a beautiful new mom. We spent the day conversing about a lot of different topics, but especially the topic of being a new mom and how one of the hardest parts about it is just that everyone has something to say about what you're doing, which goes for life as well, but in a position where you have to rely on your intuition and honestly your biology to be able to bring up and help a little baby to survive, it's hard to deal with the input from especially strangers about how you're holding your baby and what you're using for your baby and just things that I'd love to say are none of people's business. But as she says, it's coming from a place of concern and a place of love and a wanting to protect children. And we both totally get that. kind of just went back and forth for a while on what it means to receive advice in any aspect of your life and how you should always take it with a grain of salt and try to understand where people are coming from with it. On Tuesday, I had to go to work, but the next day, Toby and I happened to have a day that coincided where we were both off. So we decided to pack up the cooler, take the three-hour bus ride up north and attend the Billabong Pipe Pro 2023. This event has been on my bucket list for a very long time. take a little break, go to the beach over by sunset, and then head across the street to the Sunrise Shack. day after we got back with some hot chocolate and some movie time and I really enjoyed sharing my week with you all. I hope you guys had a good week as well and I'll see you in the next video.